Hey y'all, it's American Mum. Just finished watching episode one of season two. I'm now ready to start episode two. This one is called She's Dying. I don't know who's dying. Uh, the ending of the last episode had me really baffled because it didn't make any sense. It wasn't a twist that made sense or was it just gave a review at the end of the last episode. I just want to start this one. All right, let's do this. We can't live without him. Fine, where the hell is he? What? No, 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 no. This is your fault. It's always your fault. Damn it. It's real? Going back in time. Okay. My idiot hires a new lawyer, then murders their aunt. How's my sister? If you do anything to her, I swear to God. Don't oh, no. You keep going with that. I'd love to get a threat on camera. Catherine, Don't your silence right now is telling me that you weren't at home. I didn't say that. Don't talk to somebody without a lawyer. Game over, detective. Thank you. So we've been arrested for a murder? We don't know the warrant's sealed. They won't tell us till your arraignment. They can do that? Because you're already facing a murder charge, yes? Please, please don't tell me you think we're dumb enough to kill the only eyewitness in our own trial. We don't know each other well enough yet. We didn't do this, okay? If anything, this proves someone's framing us. Like she's hiding something, the, the sister. What does she want to say? We've been together all night. Catherine, is that true? I don't know about all night, but... Of course. We are both home. If you screw up again, you're gonna be the next dead body in this house. Oh, hell! Okay. Mm. <laughs> Elise would kill us. I'd kill you. Why are we killing each other? Oh, God. Stop saying kill! <laughs> uh, Oliver is HIV positive. And Laurel was just saying that she would kill me if I had sex with him before my prep kicks in. Now they all know that because he had to <laughs> say why they were so. I care for him. And none of this can affect the way you defend him. What did I just say about you micromanaging? <laughs> Your friends, Your Honor. Ms. Rothlo, please explain the extent of your relationship with Miss Keating. Uh, Don't sure. spare any details. We were. Enough. Because what this reveals about Never this case in my is that Annalise Keating helped Mr. Leahy commit her husband's murder. Oh, here we go. I don't understand what you were thinking. I mean, at least tell me. Because you would have told me if it was you? <laughs> exactly. I'm clench. Everything's fine. In fact, Caleb told us all to take that night off early. Is the prosecution prepared to call their first witness? We are, Your Honor. Annalise Keating, were you aware that his wife had just been diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer? Yeah, that don't look good. Did all that last time I don't know or care where Rebecca is? He does care, but screw he feels already. Betrayed. You stop being so My phone died. Can I borrow one of yours? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, you can borrow mine. He has a boyfriend. His name's Oliver, and he's wonderful. Oh, what about no. you, boyfriend? Because uh, this is just a ploy for me to sneak my no. number into your phone. It's not one one. You're just a person who burns corpses and sticks them in dumpsters. Maybe I'm just trying to do what you said, be a normal law student. That way I can forget Rebecca's nowhere to be found and Nate's on trial for our murder. That was bad advice. When does it have a small with me? <laughs> oh. Okay, who is this bitch? We gotta go. <laughs> hmm. He's like a grown-up Connor. Just oh, using God. sex to get infected. Stupid. Police found DNA in Helena's car. It matches Caleb's. Always bringing me problems, never solutions. I really shouldn't have said anything. Oh, but you did, so tell me. Yeah. Did they find Caleb's DNA at the crime scene? Oh my god. You were with Caleb that entire night. Oh. You were sent in here to play me. I was gone for half an hour. So you're admitting that you lied to us? Mm -hmm. Only because I knew how it'd look. 
If that's not the case, then please charge me with my husband's murder. Though I'm guessing that hasn't happened due to lack of evidence. Instead, your strategy has been to attack me with accusations and insinuations, making it very clear that this is not a preliminary hearing, but a witch hunt. And I did not put my hand on this court's Bible to be burnt at the stake, and especially by a petty, foolish, amateur prosecutor who doesn't deserve mine or anyone else in this court's respect. Amen, bitch. That's quite a temper, Miss Keating. Oh, shut up. Yeah, defending yourself and saying this is bullshit and getting angry about it. You're obviously a murderer. Gay stuff. Right. <laughs> hey, hold up, man. That's not a... Good. I think you're really brave, man. Like... Oh, <sighs> this is so awkward. I hate you. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I think Mr. Leahy killed my husband. Annalise framed me for this, and you're in on it. Just didn't realize it till now, being a dumb ex-cop and all. Nate, there's no other way. There is. Figure it out. Uh-oh. Make your point, Miss Ravlo. All right, what are we doing? Come on. Let me off. You killed your husband on your own, didn't you, Miss Keating? No, I did not. You did. Then you ran home and played the grieving widow for the police, all while you had someone transfer my client's fingerprint to that ring. Frank, yeah. <laughs> okay, this will get Nate off. Why aren't you defending yourself? Is it because it's all true? Mm, didn't kill him, but... Oh, shame on you, Miss Keating. This is the plan, right? It gets Nate off, but then they can't prove she did it because there's not enough evidence. If Eve argued Nate's fingerprint was transferred, couldn't we do the same and say the police transferred Caleb's DNA to the crime scene? I say go out on the date. I mean, look at me. I never thought I'd end up with a self-absorbed pretty boy. <laughs> so perfect oh, wow. for Connor. What? The police ran two DNA tests on the aunt's crime scene. Because they planted it. Right. Just pissed at Bonnie Steele. This is good. Right. I can't trust you to do anything yourself. Because you don't let me. You want me like this so that I don't forget what I owe you. Well, I'd, I don't forget. It was for you to take care of you. I get that, but. The same way you took care of me. You saved me. No. What? I didn't. Uh, would you fill me in on no. this? You needed to be saved from me. Who shoots her? Oh my so God. maybe today was a good thing, you know? Lock me up. That way you can all finally be safe. So, Mr. Easton. <laughs> Why did you delete the original test, huh? I mean, unless you didn't want us to see it. Explain that to the court. That was awesome. No, we were lucky. We won by the skin of our teeth. You lied me again and I'll fire both of you. Got it. Understood. Now go home and don't kill anyone. <sighs> She's so sarcastic, but it's funny. Mr. Leahy, you're free to go. <laughs> Ended up going home with some guy. Because I cheated on you. No, not really. It was my bad decision. You know, that you made because of me. It's my fault. You have to have protected sex. That DA doesn't have enough evidence to charge you. I know. Especially after the other night. It was sex. Get over it. Just pushing our way. No more running, Annalise. Yeah. This conversation is happening Why now. Why did you have to do that? You made it personal, and I don't understand why you have to do that, unless that was the point. To hurt me. Do you know why? I don't. Because you hurt her. Because part of me is still in love with you. I don't hate you, but I... I hate how you make me feel. Because I can't have you. But you're the most beautiful thing that ever happened to me. <sighs> I'm stepping away. Too bad that's not happening tonight. <laughs> You're disappointed, I know, but think about how disappointing it is. 
to be treated like a gigolo. If you're interested in me, get to know me. Otherwise, this is closed for business. I like him a little bit more right now. Wow. <laughs> He's hot and bothered, and goodbye. I said that. Let's do this. I'd say that. <laughs> Screw you for putting me in this position. I almost considered leaving my lady because of this crap, but now I don't have to. In fact, I'm on my way to make sweet love with her all night long. You should do that. I'm the new prosecutor on the Hapstall case. Just think about it, is all. She's in New York. Oh. She was just at, she said, is this your place? I thought she lived nearby. Okay, who's watching? Did he know they were a thing? Yeah, go back to that. She's dying. She's dying, she's, she's dying. Connor, there is nothing we can do for her. No, the police are gonna be here any second. I don't care. Damn it, Connor. <laughs> It's the only way we end up okay if we leave right now. Please, God. Please. No. Please. Don't leave her. Did Connor do something accidentally? To him, why is he so upset? Who's that? Emily Sinclair, have you seen this woman before? I'm the new prosecutor on the Hapstall case. Are they, oh, why were they both there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another nail biting, ball squeezing episode. I thought maybe we would see more of Eve. Maybe we will. You don't have to let me know. I, for some reason, thought they were in the same area and that she and uh, Annie could be together and this was going to be like an ongoing thing if she comes back you don't have to let me know i'll find out but in my mind i just thought she lived nearby. all right so nate seeing her leave i wonder if he knew about their past or is he still just going to try and get back at annie for her putting him through all that oh my gosh um i'm gonna get to the ending in just a minute just, just let me like try and get some other stuff out of the way because i do want to talk about that Okay, the case, parents dying, like that's still ongoing. There was some DNA found, but planting of it and all that. Um, Bonnie is just, just messed up in the head and with Annie and the whole Rebecca situation. Oh my gosh, Wes needs to relook at that picture. Maybe he'll keep the picture. Who was with? Michaela, when that guy walked up, oh, it was Connor. It wasn't even Wes, so he wouldn't recognize him. He has to keep that picture. Somebody will notice it or come to his apartment and they'll see it laying there and they'll be like, wait a minute. He's the one that's been texting her. Oh, hell. I'm going to give Frank a little bit of credit in this episode for not giving Laurel the little booty call that she wanted. Okay, just always thought he was a sleaze ball, and he he can be. You know, he's the older guy hitting on the college interns. He's known for that. I mean, we found that out like in episode one. So you know, I'm not jumping to conclusions. It was a well known fact. Asher is still a pain in the ass, but I don't I don't really hate any of the characters that we follow. Some annoy me more than others, like Asher. He can just be a douche sometimes. I don't hate him. I, I will cut him some slack on some things. He, he can just be so immature. Like he was with the lady at the end. We'll get to that. He was just being all, just like a 12-year-old. You know, I need this group to like get away. 
with all of this, it just seems like it keeps growing. Just the whole Sam situation. Now it's just, it, it's grown into, and I'm gonna get to the end. Now we're all in this house. I can't even remember now if Asher was there this time or not, but we're all in this house of the millionaires um, whose kids killed, that's the trial. That's the thing we're on. We're at that house and Annalise has been shot. Wes was running away from the thing. I always saw it first, but now all of us are there. And not only that, this prosecutor woman that keeps annoying uh, the hell out of us, like ever since the beginning and the one that was annoying Asher. Now she's dead outside of the house. They ran past her body left Annie inside and they're saying she's dying, but they're like, but we got to go. The police are on their way. There's nothing we can do for her. Connor is like the last one to let go of her. He don't answer me. Did he accidentally do something? Was he maybe going after the other lady? Like something went down. For all I know, this case could last all season. This is the second, the third episode. We're still, we still haven't solved this. And now this has involved, you know, Annie being hurt and this other lady. So now I think this is our new season two topic, the plot. I don't know. I feel like now we need to know what happened with that. And that will unfold over the next 12, 13 episodes this season. Very interesting. Loving every minute of it. I'm ready to watch episode three. Thank you for joining me. Till the next video, and the next time. Bye.